This is the reporting tutorial for EMPG 2018. In the application summary, click the Progress button in the far right. Then in the top right corner, click the Actions button followed by the Add Progress First Quarter button. This will take you to the progress report itself. Click the Attachments tab and then click on the blue underlined progress report. This will download an Excel template, which will be your new progress report. Be sure to click the Enable Editing button. All of the necessary fields will be highlighted in red. Be sure to contact us if you're unable to edit one of these fields. The template has three tabs, one for the progress report, which will need to be filled out quarterly, one for a NIMS implementation survey, which will need to be filled out by the final reporting period, and one for the CPG 101 v2, which will also need to be filled out by the final reporting period. Be sure to save this file somewhere you can find it, so you'll be able to update it each quarter, rather than having to start new. Once that's complete, return to the progress report and attach the progress report using the Choose File button. Next, we need to create our expense report and reimbursement request forms. Return to the Progress Summary page and click the Expenditures button. Then in the top right corner, click the Actions button and select Add Expenditures First Quarter. Repeat this process for each expense you'd like to use to meet your match. For this example, I'm only using one. Also, be sure to include your supporting documents using the Choose File button. Click Save and it will return you to the Expenditures Report Summary. Then in the top right corner, click Actions and generate your Expenditure Report. This document will need to be signed by your authorized official, so be sure to print it, get their signature, and then scan it back onto your computer. Return to the Expense Summary page and follow the same steps, but this time generate your Reimbursement Request form. This form doesn't require a signature, but you will need to write in the amount you're requesting, and then scan it back in, or type the amount in, using a PDF editing software. Return to WebEOC and then click Return to Progress. Now we're going to attach our expense report and reimbursement request into our progress report using the Edit button. Click the Attachments tab and then use the Choose File buttons for both the reimbursement request and the expense report. Then if you've attached everything you need, check the Submit for Final Approval box and then click Save. This will submit your progress report to be reviewed by the EMPG Program Manager.